Yeah. One of them, a David Brown VIG slash one the seat. A little yeah. bit rough at times when you was on the field, a few misfires. Yeah, it ran out of fuel, I had to put it onto the reserve tank. <laughs> Did it fit in all right? It is now. It was a struggle, was it? Yeah, it, it, it's a bit misshapen. I was going to say, was it twisted? We, we, we removed these normal skins off the, off the front, off the sides, yeah. to slacken this one off because yeah. it wasn't fitting in, in, in the crucible. Um, that's fitting quite nicely now. We've got a bit bit of distortion here but we'll, we'll sort that out. Will that be relieved when you take the damaged skins off then? It could do, yeah. yeah. It could do but what we're going to do is going to make a profile from from the port side which we know is right. Try and put the starboard side and work it out. I see, yeah. Make you it, think that so side's okay do you? Well it's fitting on all the belt holes so we're, oh, we're, so, fairly, so you'll just... we're, we're fairly um, sure that it, it, it will fit. Oh, good. The two beams at the back. Oh, yeah. Did you, got the nuts. you got the nuts for those bolts, did yeah, you? Yeah, we got the nuts eventually. And what happened? I got them on Saturday from, uh, yeah. from Andrew. But, uh, yeah, to, to actually line them up was an absolute nightmare. Yeah. Um, a lot of complaining from the, uh, from the structure because it, it's slightly twisted. The front one went on and went too bad, but the back one was too high. Too high? It was too high, yeah. By, by, it, it, I'm trying to oh, work out which way it was twisted then with it being yeah, too uh, high. About over half a hole and we, and we couldn't force it down, so what we did is we fit the beam to the former yeah. and then stood on the end of the beam to get them down onto the jig. And a, 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 bit of, a bit of popping sound, yeah. ponging sound coming from the structure. Yeah. So when you start... It's all, a bit, it's all a bit twisted, so when we start taking skins and stringers off, that should release, release all yeah. that tension and stick it back on. Yeah. It'll keep it exactly where it is. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, at least you're progressing. What, what will you make that former of that side to compare it? Will you make it of wood? Yeah, we'll just get, get some wood sheet and just drill shape that, and then yeah, put it put against that side, yeah. and then work it until it yeah. fits nicely. Yeah, turn it the other way around. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah just flip it over. And yeah. Oh, that's a good thing. Because the drawing is very vague. Yeah. It, it gives, gives you a lovely radius as for the top and bottom, which you can work to. But once on the side, it's like 17 feet. It doesn't yeah. say 17 feet from where. Yeah, that's right, we said that last, last time. Anywhere. Yeah. Um, back drill yeah. new skins onto Yeah. Because you, you, usually when you take a skin off a, a, a structure, you can use the old skin, put it on the new skin, and drill the old That's one, right, yeah. It will fit, but on, on a structure like this, it, it, yeah. it could well yeah. not yeah. move when you take, take, take the yeah. skin off. So when, when you put a new one on, you, you back drill it, make sure you yeah. It's a good job in a sense, you put just chains um, in the jig first and set it up to that and then this just shows you how bad this one is, isn't it? Mm. And then this skin you put on here, is it just to 
kind of protect it while somebody got to work on it. Well, they did, they, they, they did a, um, a bit of filming with it, apparently, and I think it, I think it was done for that because <laughs> it, it, it looked okay from the inside. Yeah. From the outside, it looked like a, like a nail. There's a fair bit of distortion down here at the bottom. Here we go. I'm going to take this, this skin off and make it even more flexible. Yeah. But it, it gives us a good basis to go, go to it to actually yeah. recreate it once we've got nice form is in a nice string as it will all come back to shape. That's how they made it in the first place. So they had a beam at the top, a beam at the bottom, which is next to each former, and then they put the string is in and the skin on that here. Yeah. Dead simple. You've got some work and time on these formers though. And it's not the compressor running, that's the Lancaster outside. John's removing the rivet. I took this video in 2018. It's the back of the web of the rear spar on the outer wing of Just Jane. I thought I'd check out the spar of the French wing as both are compatible. Two pieces. Yeah, I think that must be a, just a, probably just a strengthening plate for that. For that so area. What about the top one? The top one looks though like it's. Yeah, it might be just on that. Just actually from this frame to the connecting piece. There must be just an extra plate from here to there because it, that's where it actually bolts on. Yeah. So they probably doubled it up there for the extra stress. So it's not even an eighth of an inch thick then, is it? No, you can see it there. It's a single plate there. Yeah. Just a single plate. Yeah. And they're, all they've done is they've put on... See, that's two plates there. Yeah. It's probably because they're laying the... Because there's a lot of stress on, yeah. that, on that point there. They're just transferring the stress to that member. So what we're talking about, a sixteenth of an inch? What, the thickness? Yeah. No. I always thought it'd be about three-eighths of an inch thick. No, that's, a, that's about, that's, a, that's probably sixty-three thou. Looks about sixty-three thou. Sixty-three thou. Sixty-three thou. It's amazing, isn't it? So the strap is not in the actual each individual item, it's in the construction. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because where these well, half ribs, other ribs come there. Yeah, so the tank can sit in there. Yeah. And then you've got strengtheners here, top hat strengtheners there, haven't we? Yeah. 
And then the boom or the cord would be cast then, would it? Yeah, if I think it they are shape cast. There, yeah, we think they'd be cast. Yeah, it'd be easier, wouldn't it, than trying to... Yeah, well, the amount they're actually producing. Yeah. It's quicker to cast them all than yeah. it is to... This is where the centre section wing spar bolts on to the outer section. It is fitted with four one inch diameter bolts through the boom and 16 half inch diameter bolts through the web of the spar. The spar is made up of a web which we've been talking about which we have found to be one sixteenth of an inch thick and two booms, one at the top and one at the bottom. But on this shot, the wings is stood on the trailing edge, so the booms are below the web, to the right and the left. They go the full length of the web. I suppose you could say the outer wing spars of a Lancaster are 1 16th of an inch thick. Nearly true.